Painting the base of an Apple watch stand here in PETG at 240 centigrade and 78% of its maximum speed. It's estimating two hours, 40 minutes. Notice we did lots and lots of shells so that it would fill only that little tiny bit in the center with infill, but everything else is shells. That tends to be stronger, uses a little bit more filament. This is in 0.15 detailed or quality, so a lot of thinner layers. That's to make a precision mount with this Apple magnetic induction charging apparatus uh, cord part here. We wanted higher precision. This is, this is a lightning connector. You can see it's symmetrical. There's pins on both sides. There are gold-plated copper tabs. That is the device that the cable protector plugs into to strengthen the connection on the cable. Here I'm reprinting an oil fill funnel for the 2005 and 2010 Toyota Prius. The weird access for the oil input makes it hard to pour oil out of the oil container. This vented funnel, designed by some mechanical genius, makes that easier. I already have one in PLA, but PEGG, or PETG, is much more impact resistant, so this part will be much stronger. If we're printing slowly, if we were to do that, it would take 22 hours. I'll speed it up after the first few layers, and that'll get it down to 8 hours, or done by the time I get home from work. It's my first roll of PETG. It's the overture type. I'm printing it at 230 centigrade on a PEI heat bed at 85 centigrade. It delaminates at 60 degrees centigrade, so I got it to stick better at 85. And the default printing temperature of 215 from the Prusa slicer is too low. But that's because the slicer thought I was printing in PLA, when in fact I'm printing in PETG as indicated by that in the bottom corner of the display. I also tuned this to run at 33% speed because higher speeds tended to knock the print off and that doesn't conserve filament and this is what we got from the first attempt which just knocked over and then stuck to the head of the printer. So in the second attempt we slowed things down and that seems to be working much better now. We're 82% along. Here we're printing a finger split for Meg. I have it at reduced speed on the first layer. This is typical. I speed it up once I see the first layers are successful. This is to immobilize one of her fingers who wears um, suffering from trigger finger or inflamed tendon sheath and tendon. Hopefully this will help. 